Now, communication, when it comes to working online, is essential. It is one of the biggest things that can make or break an online company because if you're not communicating right, things can really start breaking. Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal is that after this video is to be able to walk you through what are the main tools that you need when it comes to working with employees online, whether you're just working with a virtual assistant or a whole remote team. Now if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I've been working remotely since I was 15 years old and now run my own executive assistant outsourcing agency here in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday on how to have an online career and every Thursday on how to have an online business. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now there's one thing that I really believe about tools and that is tools are a multiplier. They can only really multiply what you already Already have and when it comes to working online tools are super essential to get anything done you're not working together in an office where you can check in on where they're at you can't just look over their shoulder to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing so in this video I'm really going to be focusing on tools that you need to make sure that things get done that people are productive and that you know what things are getting done as well now to explain further on what I mean by tools or a multiplier is essentially is let's see Say you're paying $100 for a tool, a communication tool, for example, with your assistant, but you guys don't really know how to use it. You don't have a system for it. There's not really any sense of why you chose this tool in the first place that tool is going to be wasted. So I'm going to talk through not just the specific tools that you can use, but what kind of tools that you need, again, to make sure things get done in your business when you're working remotely. Now, the first tool, and it's super important, is your communication tool. You need to have one or two tools that you use for different reasons when it comes to working online. The first type of tool that you need is a way for you guys to be able to communicate back and forth really easily when problems or bottlenecks pop up. And the second type of communication tool that you need is basically some way to have long form communications. Now you can probably guess that the first kind of tool is something that you can do instant messaging with. There's a ton of tools out there. There is Slack, there is WhatsApp, there is Google Chat. There's of course Messenger, Viber. There's a ton of different instant messaging tools that you can use to go back and forth with your team. Now communication when it comes to working online is essential. It is one of the biggest things that can make or break an online company because if you're not communicating right things can really start breaking down things will start not making sense so picking out your tool it could literally be any of the ones that I just mentioned but the main thing that you need to do or set up with your instant messaging tool is a way to create either threads or group chats for different types of topic one of the fastest ways that things can unravel is if you're talking about three different projects in one group thread it's better if you can find a way to organize these communications into different threads. Now, Slack and Google Chat are the two main tools to do that that are the fastest way to set those up but you can also create separate groups inside of Messenger, inside of WhatsApp, inside of all of the other tools that I mentioned earlier. Now for the second long form kind of communication tool, of course, there is email. There's Gmail, there's Yahoo, there's Microsoft Outlook. So for this, this will just go down to what kind of tool are you using to email your employees? Now for Google, you usually will want to go with like a G Suite account where you can have all the same domain, same thing with Outlook, but it's not really available with Yahoo Mail as far as I know. With this, you want to be able to, again, have a thread or a record of communication back and forth with your employee that you guys can refer to later on. Now, for us inside of 2XC, one of the ways that we use the long form way of communication is to be able to send out daily reports. Now, daily reports is basically another form of communication between me and the other assistants because they send me a account of, okay, what was done today, what are you planning to do tomorrow, and any bottlenecks that they might have without me having to check in with them. It's just something that pops into my inbox. I can reply and respond to them if they have any questions. Other than that, I can check in with them without being too invasive. It's just another way that I can communicate with them to make sure that there isn't anything urgent that they need to talk to me about. If there is, then that's where our instant messaging comes in, where we use Gchat. The next tool that you really need when it comes to working with people online, whether it's a team or a virtual assistant, is a task and project management tool. Now, the reason why this is so essential is that 
If you watched my video on how to delegate tasks effectively, you will know one of the major reasons why tasks and projects start breaking down is there's no one place to store ideas and be able to execute them. So a task and project management tool is basically a place where you can see what are the goals right now, what are the projects to make sure that those goals happen, and what are the tasks that are actually making that project happen so then that goal is actually reached. So you can see that it's kind of like a stairway of like this is the big dream and these are the main things that we're doing right now to get to that dream. So a task and project management tool could be Notion, it could be Asana, it could be Trello, but it's basically a way that again you can track where your projects and the tasks are at and who is assigned to them. That way there's a clear accountability of who needs to move a task or a project forward. You can also see the progress of the task or the project. It's going to be easy for you guys to be able to also problem solve and see where things are stuck. Inside of 2XU, we use a tool called Notion. You guys have probably heard of me talk about it a lot and you guys can check out my video on how we use Notion right here. But basically, you want to make sure, again, that you have one place where you can track where things are at, that things don't fall through the cracks. Post-its and having a physical notebook doesn't really work well when it comes to working online. You need to have a shared space where you can collaborate and track tasks and projects. And speaking of collaborate, another tool that you need when it comes to working with teams online is a collaborative tool. Now what I mean by this is a way that you guys can work together at the same time as needed. Now of course the main collaborative tool that everyone knows is just using the G Suite which basically is your Google Docs, your Google Sheets. So the main reason why you need a collaborative tool is now we've come from the communication tools that you need to go back and forth to the task and project management tools so you know what you're going to be talking about and the last thing is now you're really collaborating, you're going back and forth and making sure that a project gets done. There's also a tool called Miro, for example, if you guys want a little bit more of a design work. And again, I'm mentioning Notion because you guys can access the same document and edit and go through tasks at the same time. So basically, you just need a way where you can see who's working on what and how things are getting done. And it's all digital. You don't have to upload any files, any PDF, any sheets. It's all shareable online. Now, the next kind of tool that you need when it comes to working with employees online is some sort of admin management tool. Now, an admin management tool could be calendar management tool that you can use, of course, to manage your calendar. It could be an email management tool or some sort of way to collaborate a lot of the tools that you might currently be working on. So for calendar management tools, of course, there's just Google Calendar. There's Calendly where you can get people to book a, an appointment with you without having to go through the back and forth of like, are you free Friday or free Thursday? It's just an easy way to look at things. And another admin tool that you can use is a tool to connect your different apps. So there are two tools that I really recommend for this. One is Zapier and one is a tool called If This Then That. So these tools basically make it possible for you to connect different apps along the way to make sure that you guys see what the other is doing. For example, you can use Zapier to connect different pages that you have within Notion with another tool that you might be using. You can use If This Then That to be able to connect maybe a CRM that you're using to your email management. So there's a lot of different ways that you can just grab and connect different tools with the use of these two tools. Now, another important type of tool that you need is some sort of way to manage your people. Now, a lot of the different tools that I've mentioned already are one way or the other that you can manage your people online. But what I'm talking about is one, a time tracker. You need to have a way that people can log in and out and be able to log their hours with you. You can use a super simple tool and free tools like Google Spreadsheet where people can just put in the time that they started and ended. Or you can go on the other end where you are actually monitoring their activity, their screenshots with a tool called Hubstaff where it actually monitors what they're doing on their computer as long as it's turned on. There's a lot of really good privacy settings with Hubstaff. That's what we use inside of 2XU because then we're able to see what our employees are doing but at the same time they can delete their times or their screenshots if they don't want us to see it. So this is just another way for you to be able to monitor what they're doing and easily manage them without having to micromanage. Now another tool that you need for people management is basically a way to save and share passwords. Now there's two tools that we've used. One is LastPass which is great for group sharing of passwords. Another one is 
bit worded. Both can be used on different devices. However, for LastPass, you do have to upgrade. Bitwarden, they don't have sharing. So you have to kind of choose one or the other, which one works best for you. For me personally, for most of like personal stuff, I will use Bitwarden. For shared stuff, I'll probably use LastPass. So again, it depends on what are different ways that you use your own tools within your company. Now, one more big tool that you need when it comes to people management is a way to record yourself and share your screen. What I mean by this is you can use tools like Vidyard or Loom where it records your screen. It can record your voice or your face where you'll be able to easily share things without having to hop on a Zoom call or a call at all. This is great when it comes to you giving feedback on something that they may have submitted to you. This is great when it comes to recording standard operating procedures so people can see how it is that you do a certain thing. And it's also a great way to train other people to do different tasks. Again, I'm going to put the reminder that tools are really just a multiplier to what you already have. So what I really recommend is that you start simple, start with something free. Any of the tools that I just mentioned do start with a free plan, but start with something where you can start building things with your team. It doesn't have to be, again, the most expensive tool out there. You start with something that you guys can learn and then you can keep upgrading and learning a new tool to help find something that will make sense for you. What makes sense for us within 2XU might not make sense for you and your business. Now, if you like this video, of course, make sure to hit that thumbs up button right there and comment below what is the tool that you can't live without when it comes to working online with your team. Now, if you still haven't, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday on how to have an online career, which you guys can check out the playlist right here, and how to have an online business, which you guys can check out the playlist right here, and the newest video right here. Now, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and remember that small steps matters, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!